morning from Omaha, Texas. Uh, last night we stayed at this lovely uh, little truck stop. I don't know, there's a bunch of trucks pulled over. We couldn't find one of those famous picnic places. So uh, it was very nice, slept pretty well. Today we're gonna go hunt some diamonds, I believe. Are you excited? Very excited. You wanna play in the dirt? Yeah. All right, let's go find some diamonds. Got here, we're at the Crater of Diamonds State Park over here in Arkansas. Whoa, cool. We're in the mining area. By the way, it's 37 acres of uh, diamonds in. Uh, What's your discovery today? The same thing we found yesterday. Let me get out of the thing. Yes, this is what we saw floating in the river. And it stinks, you said? Yeah. Well, that means it definitely was alive. Here, break off a piece. Uh, it looks like, like rotten fruit or there's something. Fruit, there's like seeds inside. Uh, <laughs> don't smell it. <laughs> don't smell it? It's super stinky. Oh, it smells like dried pea kind of. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get dirty. I'm just gonna put the uh, GoPro on time lapse, and you know, if we see something, I'll turn it back on. <laughs> My hopes are not very high, though. Not to be pessimistic, but you know, optimist realist here. After a couple of minutes of uh, playing in the water, the runoff, we got nada. We're gonna start filling this thing up and bring it over to the wash station. That's one of this, this is, I'm tired. This is one of the wash pavilions. Looks like we got some muddy old water. People shaking away, trying to strike it rich. What they didn't know is that we got all the diamonds right here in this plastic bucket. Claire's got the perfect technique here. It's a grab and clump. I don't think there's even any rocks in it. It's just mud. So we basically just filled this thing up full of dirt. Ah! I think that's enough? Yeah, let's All try right. that. Too big. Okay. Hour and a half later, we got through one bucket between the two of us. Not pretty. The <laughs> we were we think unsuccessful. We'll we'll see. We got a couple of like little clear looking things. Um, I wouldn't bet on it being a diamond. Um, so if you think you need more than one bucket, um, you are mistaken. Especially on a chunky, muddy day like this. We're gonna try and get the middle part over here where we started, because we learned that trying to break up muddy chunks. Not uh, not a productive way to hunt for diamonds. It's gonna be a lot heavier than it was the first time. <laughs> but you're carrying it, so. Yep, this is our new technique here. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna take the soft stuff, and when I say we, I mean Claire. Good work, Claire. Me and Claire uh, calling it a day here on the diamond field. Uh, even though we didn't find a diamond, we did, well, I had a good time. How was your day? It was fun. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you like digging in the dirt anyways. Yeah. That's what you want to do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, super cool. Um, obviously, there's no strategy or, I mean, it's, it's just chance. I mean, your odds are better in Vegas, honestly. So that's where you rent and return the uh, equipment over here. That is a diamond field. And uh, next, we're gonna bring our diamond bag, uh, which is a very high-tech uh, system here. To uh, what is your name? Glenn. Mr. To Glenn. Glenn. Mr. Glenn is gonna help us identify this 
Cliff this, Bar this, bag uh, full of diamonds. Here, huh? That's a mother load. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we found the purple one. We know that's not a purple diamond. Uh, yeah. Actually, that what is, is that? an amethyst. Amethyst? Yeah, purple. That's amethyst. Is there okay, anything else uh, in there? These two right here uh -huh. are uh, agate. All right. Okay, now agate is actually has quartz crystal in the middle of it. So these are actually quartz crystals. Okay. Then you have your share of calcite. Now calcite's a really soft mineral. And it's going to scratch my table, and it's coming to come up chalky. Oh, like yeah. That. Okay, now did you hear that? It scratched the table really yeah. hard. Yep. Okay, now that is going to be actually a quartz crystal. Wow. Okay. It, and that's how we tell the difference between the two. where your, Quartz uh, and quartz your crystal? Calcite, your calcite's a really uh, soft min mineral. Okay, so it's going to leave a chalky residue, whereas your quartz crystals are a lot harder, like a diamond. Okay, and they're going to scratch the table, and you're going to hear it, and that's how we tell the difference. Uh huh. Oh yeah, see I there? see that. Yeah, that's yeah, leaving a big it, residue. Right. See there. Yep. Anything that leaves uh, a chalky residue is going to be your calcite. You know? Yeah. And I'm afraid the rest of this is just going to be that calcite. The same see kind how of stuff. It all looks, see how it yep. all looks chalky. Yep. You know, very right opaque. There. Yes. Yeah. But we figured we'd just bring it yeah. down just for and fun. And of course, your little uh, amethyst right there, which yeah. is purple. Yeah. Now we have the field is capable of producing this color amethyst out there. Wow. And it's about three to four feet deep out there on Canary Hill. Okay. Yeah. And that's where and that so, is that the, the uh, blue? that's where this that's where this was found here. Interesting. Uh, is that where the blue dirt is? Uh, the, the green. Oh the green yeah, the, the green, green dirt. Out on Canary Hill. Yeah. Oh, interesting. It's a uh, volcanic tuff, actually. Okay, and this lady right here, Miss Janet, she is only one of two people <coughs> excuse me, that knows where that vein is. Oh, uh, interesting, yes. interesting. So there's yeah. a special spot for it. Right. All oh, right. right. Well, after a fun afternoon of uh, digging in the dirt, playing in the sand, we're gonna stop into a little cafe in town here. Cute little town, by the way. And apparently they got some interesting things on the menu. Oh, this has Southern written all over it. French fries, catfish, husk puppies, pinot beans, coleslaw, and a happy girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we finished up dinner and uh, met a viewer named Lane. And you live in town here? Yes, sir. Yeah? That's cool. We didn't find any diamonds, but we found Lane. Lane, so good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. All right. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you later. See you. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, through the magic of uh, storytelling, of filmmaking, we have uh, now arrived very close to the next mine, close to tomorrow's mine. Um, we are, yeah, like maybe a mile away from uh, tomorrow's spot where we're going to be playing in the dirt again tomorrow. Hopefully we're going to score, we're going to find something interesting, something to take home, nice little souvenir. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the road tomorrow.